Hello, in this video we will demonstrate automatic trade study capability comparing alternative vehicle architectures in UAF, Unified Architecture Framework. So here we have alternative one, there is vehicle all uh, on board. Then here we have alternative two, where we have cloud, in-house cloud, and we have vehicle. And then, as you can see here, internal structure with the collaboration between cloud and vehicle. And then we have partner cloud and in-house cloud. So more distributed alternative, the most distributed alternative. Based on each alternative, we have different parameters. Those parameters, as you can see here, service cost, time, uh, response time of the uh, features, uh, onboard CPU performance need, quality, and so on. So um, all of them are linked to the requirements. As we can see here, we have requirements. Those requirements are service cost. The voice recognition service cost shall be less than 10 euros per year per vehicle. Response time, the vehicle shall provide response to user command in less than 0.5 seconds. Infotainment model CPU performance, 80% of the CPU usage. Voice recognition quality shall be no, no less than 95 cases, percent of the time cases of recognition. Development cost, 400,000 euros less than extension capacity memory and time to market, 19 months. Uh, and we are for sure, you know, looking for the best uh, uh, configuration. So based on those alternatives, as we can see here, we are using operational uh, uh, architecture here for, from UAF. We specify the values of the properties, as you can see here alternative has its own and uh, we are performing uh, uh, creating setup for the trade study and performing automatic trade analysis based on the uh, automatic trade uh, uh, capability in sysml uh, and uaf simulation as you can see here uh, the, there is an uh, objective function linked to the properties of uh, generic uh, reference architecture and uh, also we we link to the satisfy each characteristics of the architecture as the time performance service cost and so on quality satisfy requirements so we see uh, we are using natural language analysis uh, which is actually improved in refresh one you know it recognizes also like in between and can set up custom patterns uh, uh, it automatically extract the data from requirement as you can see here and um, also, it uh, eliminates uh, variants, which does not satisfy any of the requirements during automatic trace study. So we can avoid that uh, during automatic trace study. And uh, last, uh, going to internal, so we are specifying utility curve to normalize the values of each criteria because they are not normalized by, the, by default, right? For example, development costs and response time, right? Then we are also set up in objective function with the weights, right? So those weights depends on the weight one, weight two, weight three, depends on the importance of the criteria. Maybe, you know, development costs is not so important as response time, right? Or, or an opposite. And then once we are done, uh, we, are, as you can see here, inheriting from a uh, trade study pattern, you know, that's actually was already done. Uh, and uh, we are running uh, uh, trade study and we get results. As you can see here, we can get the res those results uh, into instance table with the timestamp, with the out of scope uh, spec. So 60% is out of spec. Uh, only three variants were compared, uh, score of the winner and of board OEM architecture is the winner. So if we will uh, lose and requirements here, for example, if we'll, you can actually check which requirements are satisfied and which are not. As you can see here, for example, we did that uh, by creating uh, instance table to show all the different architectures, you know, where we see, you know, that some of those architectures does not satisfy requirements. So we can lose, for example, this 10, uh, 0, 5 requirements. Uh, 
And in that case, we'll get maybe different solutions, right? So let's say like it will be not 10, but 15, here not five, but like for example, nine, just as a sample, right? And then we run, um, we run um, analysis. And we see that uh, uh, still the same as the winner, you know, but now 30% of the cases uh, only does not satisfy. So one from three, right? So those which, are don't, which are, does not satisfy requirements, we can also discover, you know, uh, from the simulation here. Once you run here, you see like which one is not satisfying, remove the, uh, the generic architecture and choose like, uh, for example, all board architecture. And then we see here, for example, CPU response and on board memory need 0808. So this one, you see 08 and 08. So it's almost, almost at the limit, right? So you can specify, for example, requirement 01. And this one, uh, if it is also will be 81, it will satisfy the requirements. So run again. And now all, 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 all the architecture should uh, satisfy. And as we can see here, now this architecture actually on board architecture is the winner, right? So as we can see here, so with some sensitivity analysis, uh, adjusting weights, or in this case, I was adjusting requirements, but I could adjust just the weights, for example, um, or, you know, um, uh, properties of the architecture, we could uh, see that uh, actually the winner could be different, you know, depends on the, again, weights and the requirements which shall be met, you know, how, how uh, flexible they are. Uh, so thank you for this presentation. As always, you can find the sample attached and uh, this project requires UAF plugin or uh, UAF uh, modeling product. As we can see, magic system of system architect or chem enterprise architecture. Thank you.